Oh my goodness. Deep Seek was this last week and weekend. Now Alibaba. Alibaba unveils new Quen model. It's an AI model which claims to outperform chat GP, uh, chat GPT for, um, it also is supposed to be better than deep seek. So let's look at the headlines, more powerful models coming out of China. This was all over Twitter today. Well, I don't know about all over. I, I, I did see it in the, I had to dig in Alibaba's Quen 2.5 max AI leap or market hype. Supposedly it's beating DeepSeek. I've been uh, playing around with it. I'm just having it do some, some uh, S&P stock market strategy questions. It's pretty good. I was able to get it to pull up S&P information and then calculate when the best time to buy the S&P is and what kind of return I would get for, for three years. It's, it's fun. It, right now it's, it seems a little slow. I don't know if it's me or, or the platform. I imagine it's getting tons of traffic right now, but uh, it's pretty cool. And it's also uh, able to generate images. So I, I've already had fun playing around with generating different images. So that's kind of cool. Uh, it, it looks like it can do video probably when you upgrade. I haven't tested that yet, but if you, if you are a regular on the channel, Alibaba is a value stock. That's why I'm interested. That's why others might be interested. If we look at Alibaba, I'm using my custom indicator here. Um, this stock used to be $300. It's right now trading under $100. Uh, this is a stock Charlie Munger loves. If we look, values are very low. Our valuations are very low, 10 times cash flow, which is uh, anything under 20 might be considered a bargain. Well, compared to other stocks, but 10, 10, 10 times cash flow, very attractive. 1.7 times sales, anything below two times sales is attractive. My uh, indicator is saying it's a bargain because it's below the 1000 day moving average. Let's jump over to Seeking Alpha and get some more information there. There's mixed reviews on the articles, probably because it is a Chinese stock, but the PE forward, which I believe is t still 2024 data um, because the year is not technically over until they report earnings. It's a 10 PE earnings for, uh, per share, $8 per share on a $96 stock. So it is cheap. It's not expensive by any means. I do know that they have a bunch of cash. This is why Charlie Munger uh, is a big fan of this this stock. Uh, 55 billion in cash, only 33 billion in debt. So they have, let's say 20 billion of extra cash. So that should make the stock $20 billion cheaper. It's a 200 billion uh, market cap. So they have a bunch of cash that they can deploy and generate more profits or just return to shareholders. That's why it's a factor to consider for Char uh, for Charlie Munger, Warren Buffett type value investor fans like me. If we look at the earnings estimates uh, for 2025, they're supposed to earn, you probably can't see that, let me zoom in, $8.67 per share. Then that grows by 12% at least right now, with this AI model, those estimates might increase 9.78 per share next year. And then 2027, $10.72. So it's not a huge grower, it's a 10% grower, but even a 10% grower, if that was in the United States, that would have a 20 multiple. A 20 multiple on this stock would put it closer to $200 per share. The stock is only $100, less than $100. So all of this is good news if, if, uh, you know, if investors can, can stomach being in China. I like the stock. I'm not in that one, but I am in a few other Chinese names, Baidu and IQ. All of these stocks are at bargain prices. 
Uh, it's just the geopolitical risk and the tariffs makes investing in China unattractive, especially in a Trump America first era. So will this move the needle on Baba? Let's get rid of that. Today, Alibaba moved 6.71. And that has to be because of the news that their model is outperforming basically all, all of the other ones. So very good news for Baba. Is this a cup and handle higher? Who knows? But I would be bullish on the stock, especially since the risk is limited uh, financially. Uh, the company has maybe 10% just in cash. The, P, the PE is low. The upside, we know that 300 was the high. One day, could this be a $300 stock? Odds are pretty favorable for Alibaba. If we look at, um, let's say FXI, the ETF that I follow for Chinese stocks, it's also beat up. Let's look at the monthly chart real quick. This stock, this ETF has gone nowhere for almost 20 years. Uh, 20 or 31, 96 right now the high in 2007 is 48 dollars so for more than is that more than almost 20 years two lost decades chinese stocks have not done anything since the peak in 2007 that's very weird if we look at the hsi the hang sang yeah that confirms it so Will the, will the new chapter in tech and AI spread to China, make make more interest go in there? Or is there going to be geopolitical tension between the U.S. and China now that both are trying to fight for AI influence going forward? It seems complicated, but because I'm a value investor, I have to get some exposure into those Chinese names. And now I didn't have any Baba, but it seems like uh, it might be worth a small position uh, going forward. Let me know if you agree or disagree, and we will keep the conversation going.